hello everyone this is sikandar and welcome back to our brand new video in today's video we are going to learn how to convert wide screen video into portrait using the new feature of wonder surf Invora 10 so without any further ado let us start Last month I have made two video on update of Wonder Surf Invora 10. On that video I have got some comment for crack or make a video on how to crack software. So let me tell you that this channel never promoted this kind of thing in past and you will not find it in the future. Because I believe a brand or individual guy works so hard day and night to give us something which we can use in our daily workflow. It's our duty to give them something as a reward. So coming back to the video, this feature is available in 10.5 and above. If you are using the latest version then you will see it. If not, then update it and my friend it is completely free. To open auto reframe, first import the video. Then right click on it and then you will find the option of auto reframe. And after coming to this window, if you found yourself that you have chosen the wrong video, then you can replace the file from here. After done with the selection, here you will find some aspect ratio like 16 is to 9, 1 is to 1, 4 is to 3, 4 is to 5, and 21 is to 9. So for portrait, you have to choose 9 is to 16. After that we have motion speed, if your clip is steady or moving, then you can use it. For steady slow and for moving object choose fast. If you choose the auto option then also it will give you a better result. After all the adjustment, press to analyze, it will take a few seconds to convert. And it's done. To check whether it has done properly or not, then to see preview, turn off adjustment frame and watch it. If you found that some frame are out of frame, then you can also do it manually like this. It happens when your subject turn their face. Once you are happy with the result press to export, then the video will be saved on your local drive. And here I wish instead of exporting to the local drive, it would have comes to the timeline, so that I can add music and some e filter. But it's ok to add music or effect, we can again import it and drag it to the timeline. So this is all about this video guys, hope you like it. As always, if you enjoy it, then give it like. And if you are new to this channel, then make sure subscribe to it. And also don't forget to press bell icon so that you don't miss any update. And I will see you on my next video. Till then, bye.